James Patterson has already sold more than 280 million books worldwide. He also holds a Guinness record for the most number one New York Times bestsellers, 57 in all. His new novel, Treasure Hunters, tells the story of a kid spies who goes on a journey to find their missing parents. James Patterson, good morning to you. So you're on the good list morning. for the kids, you're on the list for the adults, and we're going to talk about yeah. the book in just a second. But this is what I read about those you. those kids are eating. This is what I read about you, that you are here to save lives, a provocative statement you say, but true. What do you want to do? Uh, well, especially, look, I mean, for a lot of kids, it's just getting into better colleges. But, but for most kids in this country, it's at-risk kids and whatever, it's getting to be competent readers through middle school, because if they're not, High school becomes a horror show. Yeah. It becomes hopeless. How, how are you going to do science and history? And it's so easy to get kids reading. So if how do you parents, intend to do this? Parents have to step up. The people that are watching right now, no kidding. You can be your kid's friend, but you got to be their parent. And, and they have to read at home. The end. Uh, and, and you have to go out and get books for them. When, when our son Jack, Jack was eight, um, that summer, we said, Jack, you're going to read every day. And he said, do we have to? And he said, well, yeah, unless you want to live in a garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, I know how hard that is. I have three kids and spending 20 to 30 minutes a night with each of them and they're just learning how to read. It's yeah. hard. Uh -huh. It takes a lot of patience because they're just, they're, you know, six and five years old and they know every other word. But when they get seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. you just have, that's the deal. Yeah. We have yeah. banners that we, we give out to people. We read in our house. Mm -hmm. We read in our house. Mm -hmm. But is it because there's so many distractions and that's a new element in our society? I think it's parents, just a lot of parents are not, and grandparents aren't stepping up and saying, we're going to go tomorrow, mm -hmm. treasure hunters or something else, mm -hmm. today, right after the show, before yeah. the next CBS show. Yes. Go out and go to the library, go online, go to your local bookstore. There's an announcement. There, there is a study this morning that said parents should read to their kids to the age of nine. Yeah, sure. Which surprised me. I thought nine was a little old, but they said really nine depends. will make a difference. It depends. Some of the kids, seven, eight, nine, are, are already reading very well. And then it's just a matter of giving them. The, the thing is, look, if you want to play a musical instrument, when you start, it's painful. Yes, it but is. With, <laughs> with books, with That's books, true. you can be the equivalent of Chuck Berry when you're seven years old because yeah. you're going to read a cool book. Speaking of bookstores and announcements, what is it that yeah. you think you can do to save Bookstores. Well, you know, what, we're, what I'm going to do and what we're doing right now, if I can go to jamespatterson.com, I'm going to give away a million dollars in the next 12 months or so for, to independent bookstores. Of your own help. money. Why? Yeah, 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 my yeah. money. Yeah. Why? <sighs> okay, we're making this big transition right now to ebooks, and that's fine and good and terrific and wonderful, but we're not doing it in an organized, sane, civilized way. So, what's happening right now is a lot of bookstores are disappearing. A lot of libraries are disappearing or they're not being funded. School libraries aren't being funded as well. This is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you used to be you could go to your drugs, you'd find books everywhere. Yeah. You, you go to Sweden, uh, uh, Sweden has 8 million people. A, a, book, mm -hmm. a book will sell a million copies there. Are they kids have, making the transition to e-readers, e to e-books? Do kids make the transition to e-books? They're, they're not because nobody has helped families to understand yeah, it's okay to have more than one e-reader in the house. That's yeah. okay. And it's okay if your kids buy 10 books a year. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, it may not be. It depends on but, the family. But, James, you know how hard hit these independent bookstores are, yeah. these smaller bookstores. What will a million dollars do? It's going to start. It's going to help. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and it ranges from, mm -hmm. you know what, we have two, two people here who haven't had a bonus in seven years. Here's some money. Or we want to do something. And the only thing we're going to ask is that, one, that we feel it's a viable bookstore. Mm -hmm. And secondly, that you have a children's section. Yeah. I want to say just one thing about reading. I mean, reading has been my best friend yeah. all my life. I have never been bored for a moment because I was so curious, and books gave me and took me to places I could never go. Sure. Yeah. And, 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 and why you're, it's the okay. same thing for me. Yeah. It just brought, I grew up in a small town, me too. hadn't mm -hmm. seen that much, mm -hmm. and it was like, ooh, boy, and now I've been to Paris, now I've been to, you know, mm -hmm. you know Middle East, now yeah, I've been yeah. all over the world. We're reading at home these Dodsworth mm -hmm. books and that were a gift mm -hmm. to us, and Dodsworth goes to Tokyo, and oh, Dodsworth yeah. goes to Rome, and, yeah. and, and no, so they transport, important. and I love your new book that's coming out, Treasure, because kids are now into spies, so you, they'll definitely yeah. be into Well, this Treasure, book. you know what it is, more than anything, these are kids, their parents went all around the world uh, finding the famous treasures like uh, King Solomon's Mines, et cetera, et cetera. So they're real. So you're going to learn a lot of stuff about the world. Um, but, but more than anything else, the kids now take up the business themselves. But and and they have right. to take responsibility. They have yeah. to take responsibility. Can I just say your record's intact. You were named one of the 50 most influential people who make days a little brighter. There you go, oh, okay. Mr. Sunshine, right. okay. doing it again. Yeah. Yeah. Nice tribute to you when we go on yes. that. that Thank nice. you so much. Thank you Great very much. Great to see you. Nice Treasure Hunters goes on sale today.